Leonora Cohen was part of the suffragette movement during the 20th century. The existing display of her life in Leeds City Museum has been attracting more attention since her involvement has been highlighted in the film Suffragette. I spoke to local historian Nicola Pullen about Leonora's significance towards women's rights. What was so pivotal to the movement and her in Leeds? The main reason that Leonora is the suffragette that we represent in Leeds is because she is our most well-known suffragette. But also we're really lucky because Leonora was quite forward-thinking as a suffragette and she actually realised how important what she'd been involved in was. So in the 1960s and 70s she started to give material to the museum. And the problem with a lot of the suffragette women is they were busy doing things but they didn't actually record any of it. A lot of them might not have had the time, they might not have had the resources, but Leonora was actually very shrewd and she kept a lot of material which is why we're able to try and reconstruct her story. Her biggest achievement will have been for her being part of part of the movement that secured the right to vote for women. That I don't think you can ever really top being part of such a pivotal change in the way that our society works. Kate Pankhurst, an illustrator and descendant of Emily Pankhurst, is producing a children's book on the subject of women's empowerment. I spoke to Kate and her dog Olive about how suffragettes are now seen as important role models for women today. I don't think I fully appreciated exactly what she did for women until a little bit more recently when my work has kind of led me to investigate her further and find out a bit more about the kind of sacrifices that she made and also um, the sacrifices that the other women who were in the suffragette movement had to make to make their voices heard. I think definitely they're role models for women today and I think it's a really exciting thing that their stories are, um, their personal stories about kind of what they had to give up, what they had to do uh, to fight for a cause that they believed in, to fight to have a say in their lives and how the country was run. Leonora Cohen isn't just remembered through the display at Leeds City Museum, She's also been commemorated through this plaque, which has been placed at the house she lived in between 1923 and 36, something that herself, perhaps, she would not have expected.